into those two final match points for them. Let's talk about the map, Sazer Hump. So, obviously, Mongols will most likely go for early, early scouts again. The Mayans is trying to secure some gold and then go for Expos. And then we have the Hunts. This is an absolutely option for a Sling, Vikings onto Hunts. And the Vikings only going for farms. And the uh, uh, Hunts expanding into the middle and trying to secure all the gold spots there. And the Viking is just at home, getting some food, getting some wood. But the m small islands, they're just so impossible to be walled. So, like, booming is absolutely not an option on this. And this makes this map so great because we will see intense late fuel and intense castle age fights. Let's see how those two teams will battle it out. And you just mentioned before that going for scouts is Mongols is a must. I do, I, I, I do question. You think that's the case? Because considering how close everybody starts, right? I, you think there's an opportunity for the scouts to do anything? Because considering how close the resources are going to be, always from at least one TC or two TCs, you think that going for fast scouts is still a necessary option? Yeah, absolutely. You can uh, kill so many single villagers trying to wall at some spots. Maybe even deny some villagers trying to even get on the mainland, try to deny barracks all over the place. And you will find so many spots because you know, okay, this is their main island. There have to be like 100 villagers at the time uh, the scouts are arriving. So you will always find some p uh, picks from villagers if you take care a lot. Okay, I guess there's not much point in trying to talk about flank and pocket position here because everybody's flank, everybody's pocket, right? They're spawned so close together. And very important that everybody's gonna have the standard resources. Very easy to steal resources from your teammate in this map. As you can see, a couple of shipping sent left and right here at the side of the unforeseen team. Let's take a look a little bit at what's happening here on the Chinese side. What we do have here Yo on the flank position, so to speak. And uh, just as we said before, there are a couple of deep fish scattered around the shallow waters. You can see a couple here, a couple there. But it's just as Nilford mentioned before, it's not really worth it wing for the dock. Because do keep in mind that a couple of scouts, a couple of knights can kill your fishing boats so easily. Indeed, maybe one defensive dock on the right hand side for the unforeseen team and maybe one in the north for the SY team would be an option. One interesting thing, Chris already sending villager onto the middle without loom. A bit dangerous, right? A bit dangerous. I guess he's hoping for the scouts of the enemy team to be concentrating on luring deer and not really being interested in killing a couple of villagers, but seems like a little bit risky option. And as far as I can see, no one in the Chinese team is doing that. Mysterio is the one playing as Mongols, and he just made a lumber camp here at the back of his base. Looks to be at a very nice position. And this is what Nilford just mentioned before. You can take a look here that Yo's got no... Well, I guess it's going to be very hard for him to completely close himself. So he will always be open to a couple of raiding from the scouts, as just mentioned at the beginning of the game. Um... Yeah, so tough to wall. I think this could be a map where you absolutely could food sling your teammates like giving boars to your mongol even luring some deer into the tc of your mate and just send all the sheep of the mongols to the tc of the vikings for example you can see here Menel is doing the exact same thing that chris was doing he's sending his villagers to the lumber camp in the middle of the map in case of the main player that seems quite expected right they basically start with loom not really they need to research it but they will be doing it at the very beginning so in this case it doesn't seem so risky but for Chris, it does seem like a little bit of a, of a risk here to go there to the middle of the map where he is so exposed and not have any loom. Yeah, and Chris is already sending a fifth, maybe even a sixth villager on board there? Well, that's... that's so much. Well, I guess he's got his first port. He's going to be taking the second one anytime soon. Is that a pause for you as well? Yeah, it is. Okay, so hopefully not a drop. I'm going to go back to the game room to try and see. Yeah, everybody's still there. So it's not a, a drop, hopefully only a pause. But is there such a, such a thing like a good map and a bad map in this one? Mm, I don't have too much experience, so I can't really say. You always have gold, you always have stone. I think the amount of wood on your main island is the only thing that really differs. For example, look at the spot of Mantelus. He has very little wood. 
on his start. Basically Hiding, so nothing, yeah. Yeah, so he can't wall properly. And this could be kind of a problem. Uh, the most fighting will be in the middle anyways. Going back once more to the game room. Every No, they're going back. Looks like this is a trap. Drop.